Welcome back to Cooley Loves Comic Books. For this episode, I wanted to bring to you Murder Falcon by Danny Warren Johnson and Mike Spicer. Um, this is a book that, uh, well, I mean, credit where credit is due. Um, Steve from Talking Comic Books, he, he's the first person that I heard mention it. Uh, he, was, he started talking about it when, when the first issue came out. And, and I picked issue number one up at least twice, if not three times, at my local comic shop. Looked at it, kind of thought about it, and then put it back. It just didn't, just didn't quite grab me. Um, and then, uh, th this book came out recently. It, it just ended at the end of 2019, roughly, or just you know, kind of middle of 2019. And when, when the last issues came out, um, Steve and Sarah from Talking Comic Books were talking about it again. And, and what they were talking about is just how, how powerful the story was, how emotionally affecting it was. Um, and, and I think Steve said it best where he said it just it hits you in the feels. And I was, I, I had to rewind. I was like, Murder Falcon? Murder Falcon hits you in the feels? Okay. Interesting. And I did not expect that. Um, I mean, the, the, the top line of this, and I mean, you, you, you can see it on the covers, you know, it's basically you have um, this, this humanoid falcon guy named Murder Falcon that is on Earth to fight these giant kaiju slash Godzilla monsters called Veldar. And he, he does that with the power of heavy metal music. So his partner Jake plays uh, his guitar, and the better Jake plays, the better Murder Falcon can fight, and they're going to save the world from these giant monsters. Uh, I mean, it, it, sounds, it sounds okay, it sounds cool. Uh, it sounds like the next Tenacious D movie. Um, and, and I would say that uh, actually having read it, uh, it absolutely should be a Tenacious D movie. Um, I'd say Jack Black was probably born to play Murder Falcon and Kyle Gass was born to play Jake. I mean, how, how this isn't a Tenacious D movie already, I have no idea. But just that in and of itself, that aspect of it, it just wasn't enough to grab me. So, but when I heard that there was something else going on here, I mean, that, that's what sparked my curiosity. Like, what is, what is going on here? What is this emotional element? And, and so that's what made me pick up the whole series. And reading through it, it just, it, it is everything that I expected, and it was nothing that I expected. And that's why I wanted to, to make a video of it, bring it to you, and, and try and shine a little bit more light on Murder Falcon. Because it is a very cool book. It is a fun book. It is, it is... But, but there's there's so much to it that it that it could easily get looked over if you don't realize that there's there's more going on here. So that's where I wanted to make the video. Um, just real quick at the front, I'll say, um, you know, if you like the channel, if you like the content I'm putting out, please drop a like and subscribe to the channel. That'd be awesome, huge help. Uh, more than anything, it just help more people find the channel and help the channel grow. So I, I greatly appreciate that if you like what I'm doing. So, um, but yeah, so really, what what is what is going on here is that there's actually two stories. Um, you have the main story with the monsters and, and, and fighting the Veldar, but there but there's something else. And and really, I mean, it, if you if you look at it, uh, it's well, well, why Jake? So so Jake is not like this this famous renowned uh, musician. He he's he's just this guy that was in a, a, a band that was starting to come up, but then then they broke up and that was. You know, over a year ago, and he hasn't really even played for a long time. So why why does Murder Falcon pick Jake to to be his his champion that helps helps him go out and fight these monsters? Why why is it so important that they put the band back together? And it turns out it, it's really important that they put the band back together. But and that's the aspect that's the human aspect that is so compelling in this story that that I just didn't realize was there going in. Um, you, you see kernels of it in episode one, and it, it very, what, what Daniel Warren Johnson really does well in episode one is set, set the main plot in, in play, and he plants a couple kernels with you that there's something else going on here. There's some other aspect um, of this story that you're going to need to know about, but I'm not going to tell you about that yet. And as, as the, the issues progress, more you get more and more of this other backstory. You, you, you see kind of the progression, you see the band start to come back together, you start to, basically as, as the band starts to come back together, you also see more details, more, more behind the scenes, more part of the story of why they broke up in the first place and what was going on there. Um, and, and what really happens is you get to know these people, you get to know these characters, and, and there's, there's 
really clear reasons for why the band broke up and and that is all of a sudden like once you figure out once you see what's going on that's where the power of yj why the band that's where the power hits you and that happens right about as the monster story is is climaxing as well as peaking and they complement each other so perfectly and that is that is why this book that I mean, it, 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 is, it is awesome. If, if you're not tearing up by the end, there's probably something wrong with you. There's, it just it works so well and hits so well. It's, it's such a great book. You, at this point, if, 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 you, if nothing else, if, if you're curious, you've got to check it out. If, if I've sparked any curiosity at this point, you must check out this book. But there, there's something else, too, that I wanted to, to throw out. And, and actually, this is, this is what happened just recently that made me want to, like, brought this back to the forefront of my my mind and maybe want to sit down and make this video. Uh, with the current situation uh, being what it is, Danny Warren Johnson has started a YouTube channel and so he's put out these videos every week um, and a lot of what he's doing is, is kind of showing you, you know, his, his creative process, showing you, you know, sketching to, you know, the process of uh, pencils to inks to a final, final piece uh, for like a commission and kind of talking through the, the creative process there. But the other thing that he's done in some of these is talk about some of his inspiration. And for one of these videos, he pulled out a copy of a manga called Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind by Hayao Miyazaki. Now, I'm a fan of Miyazaki's movies. I, I really like basically every Miyazaki movie that I've ever seen. Uh, I've definitely seen Nausicaa, and I, and I liked it a lot. But I'll confess, I did not realize that it was a manga first. And what... Daniel Warren Johnson brought it out since it's one of his top favorite comics of all time. I mean, it, we're talking a thousand pages. This is this is a huge book. It is a tome. And he, he started going through it and talking about Miyazaki's artwork and his composition and how he laid out the frame and how he tells a story and how he builds his character characters, and which, which Miyazaki absolutely does. And, and when I heard and saw Daniel Warren jo Johnson talking about Nausicaa and Miyazaki that way, that's where it just everything clicked. I'm like I, I get where this guy comes from and, and why his stories are as good as they are. Because in, in my opinion, one of one of the defining features of Miyazaki's work is just his, his depth of characters, how how you really know them and understand them, and no none of the characters in any of his stories are just, you know, thrown together, thrown on the page. They're all fully defined, fully fleshed out characters. And that's what makes the story so compelling. And that is the, that is the same case here with Murder Falcon. And and that is what is just is so cool. And, and he, Daniel Warren Johnson, uses that in such an effective way in telling kind of these two overlapping stories. This just this just phenomenal. His art style is really cool as well. He's he's very quickly becoming one of my favorite artists. There's there's a lot of really cool, significant moments in the books or in the story that, that really hits you and like they're, they're so visual and powerful um, you know there, there's a point where you know because because not every instrument can channel the, the, the energy of heavy metal music so the, the instrument the, the, the energy of the music has to come through something called the heavy and, and it, not every instrument can do it so there, there's a quest aspect of this story as well right so they have to go and find these special instruments as they're putting the band back together um, Every instrument, there's this, there's something cool that happens with the instrument once they find it, um, as they're getting the band back together. That with the bass guitar, with the drums, it's pretty awesome. Um, every everything is, is is just it's so well done. You can definitely tell that Daniel Warren Johnson and Mike Spicer love metal. They love heavy metal music. Um, I I I'm not a big fan of heavy metal music. Uh, in my younger years, I would say I was maybe a metal tourist, but I know enough to know that they really love metal and the metal culture, and they treat it so well and use it so effectively here. It's there, There's so many cool nods uh, that they put into this book. I mean, it, it's obvious that they, that they wanted to do that, but it, it's done so well and smartly. It, that, that's another aspect of this book that's just really, really cool. Um, yeah, it's it's just it's a fun book, and it, it, it was not what I expected. It was not at all what I expected, um, and 
it, it, if you've looked at these covers, I mean, they, they probably look cool, but maybe they didn't grab you, and just like they didn't grab me, or maybe it looked like it was something that was too too far off to the fringes from what I would really like the, to, to make me sit down and, and read it all. But, it, but I'm so glad that I did, and that's why I wanted to make this video, to just let you know that there's so much more here going on. I mean, there, there's a lot of cool stuff on the cover, sure, but there's a lot more in the pages as well. Um, so yeah, I mean that's that's pretty much it. If if this is if this grabs you at all, if this sounds interesting at all, by all means head out to your local comic book store. They probably have most, if not all, of these issues because, like I said, it just this just wrapped um, just a handful of months ago. Um, and check it out. So um, I'll also put up the the link to the Daniel Warren Johnson video if you're curious, uh, where he talks about Nosca as well. That definitely worth watching and absolutely check out his channel. Um, watching him draw and 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 kind of listen to him talk about his creative process has just been really fascinating and with with this work he's, he's very quickly becoming one of my favorite artists as well artists and writers um it is a quick footnote i will say um there's this is his second work with mike spicer that really kind of started to garner some attention there's one earlier called extremity it was 12 issues um, so after I sat down and read this, I did go out and pick up Extremity and read through that. And I'll probably do another video on Extremity too because it's really good. And, and everything that I said about like the manga and Miyazaki and Nausicaa that clicked with this also clicks with Extremity. All of those same aspects are there. It's, a, it's just a, a totally different style of story. Um, but absolutely check out that too if you're curious. Uh, or, or if you get this and you like it. Um, yeah, Extremity and, and Murder Falcon both were just so much fun and such good reads. Um, yeah, so so like I said, um, check these out if you can. Support your local comic book shop. Uh, until next time, I'm going to go off and read some more comic books, and you should definitely do that too. So thanks very much. Take care, and we'll catch you on the next one.